Hello everybody. Um, I made homemade chicken broth today. So saved all my chicken bones from all of our baked chickens, put them in the freezer, along with a separate bag of leftover onion butts and peels, um, celery, and bell pepper. And then today those bags were full, so I made uh, chicken broth. So here is some leftovers. And so, this is my first time to ever get to my chickens. I see other, uh, or one other website that I watch all the time. And she, the stuff she gets her chickens, and they act like they're carnivores. Anyway, I'm going to try it on my guys and see if they, they like it. Here you go, Mr. Man. <laughs> what do you think? Mm, I'm thinking they like it. Look at that. So exciting. Can you see the bowl and the chicken? Say hi, everybody. Is that good, Mama? Oh, there's lots of uh, good meat, you know. He's telling them, I found it. I found it right here. So all that meat you can't get you know on the backbone of a chicken and you're like oh, it's way too much work <laughs> so I, it's nice that you could put that in you know and then put it in your pre i used my uh, presto uh instapot and pressure cooked the bones and the celery and the onions i added some uh fresh rosemary some salt and pepper and water filtered water and uh, all of that yumminess comes out of the bones and then there was lots of meat that was in between the bones that it's hard to get to so oh my gosh and a beautiful golden brown color that it all came to so i strained it and then i put it in my jar so it, they're all in my uh pressure canner now you you have to use a pressure canner not your instapot to pressure can it so it, it'll get all that air out of there and, and then it's shelf stable so it'll make my roast taste so yummy <laughs> I'm, I'm glad my chickens are liking it good girls okay y'all have a great day <laughs> thanks for watching